what is an export? Sure. Well, you know, we all know that an export is taking a book and putting it in a box and shipping it overseas to a friend. But we could, if we take that same book and we scan pages of it and put it in an email and send it to someone, we're exporting it that way as well. Or if we get on the telephone and read that book to someone, even that is an export. So an export is way beyond that physical thing that we think about going to the post office and mailing something and can really impact us. There's also what's known as a deemed export, and these are particularly problematic for universities because a deemed export is when you disclose information to someone who's not a, a U.S. citizen or U.S. person, um, but if you disclose controlled information to them in the United States, that too is an export. Why there are export controls? Sure, Andy, and, and the primary reason for export controls is national security. Uh, these uh, rules, which are quite broad, are meant to protect Americans, they're meant to protect our allies and, and to prevent harm from coming to the United States. That's the primary reason. Um, there are also other reasons uh, the government has export controls, and that can include uh, protecting certain foreign policy interests against certain countries, uh, as well as uh, protecting U.S. economic interests.